Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to take a look at what Microsoft announced for their big E3 press event. After the video, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it. Hope you guys enjoy. First on the list, we got the Elite Controller 2. It's finally been revealed after two years of speculation and rumors. We thought the new Elite Controller would never come, but by the looks of it, the wait seems to be worth it. This new controller is packed to the brim with features. It's going to have adjustable trigger locks and adjustable tension thumbsticks, three custom profiles, a rechargeable battery that will last you over 40 hours, and a charging dock that comes with the carrying case. Unfortunately, this does come with a price hike. Instead of it costing $150 like its predecessor, it does go up to $179.99. Make sure to pre-order today. It is going to be available November 3rd. Next, we got news for Halo Infinite. During the reveal trailer, we see Master Chief floating in space, then getting harbored in by a mystery man flying a spaceship that seems to be on its last legs. Everything that takes place after that is up for speculation. 343 has stated that this is a reboot for the Halo franchise and we are essentially back at square one. We did get some great news though, Halo Infinite will be a launch title for the new Xbox console for holiday 2020, which is what I predicted in last year's video. And finally, Xbox Scarlet is partially revealed. The Xbox Scarlet is supposed to be four times stronger than the Xbox One X. It's supposed to also have DDR6 RAM and a solid state hard drive that boosts performance by over 40 times. The ability to do 8K gaming at 120 frames a second, and it's basically eliminating all load times according to Microsoft. The Xbox Scarlet is scheduled to come out holiday 2020 along with Halo Infinite as its main launch title. I know the list was short, but they didn't really show much, guys. Scarlet. Halo Infinite and the Elite Controller, those are like the best things that I thought went on in the in the press conference. Um, but Microsoft should have really just skipped this one because we know that the Xbox One is basically dead. Um, I think Gears of War 5 is basically a dead man walking. I think it's not going to do good in sales. Uh, I feel like the reviews for that game are not going to be good. Um, and I also think that Gears of War will get rebooted within the next few years for the Xbox Scarlet. They need to completely overhaul that game. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully E3 later this week is better. Um, Microsoft didn't really do much to get me excited for the rest of the week. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys agree or disagree. Later this week I'll have um, a video for Nintendo's Treehouse event. And if Sony has a State of Play event I'll also make a video for that. And then we'll also do a top 10 countdown for this year's E3 event. All right. Let me know in the comment section. Like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later.